Hi, this is Karen from Karen Schultz Designs, and today I'd like to show you another fun way to use my photo memory collage template. This is the page that we're going to be creating today, and I'm going to be using my memory photo collage bundle from February. I'll be using the template and a few of the elements from the art pack. Today I'll be working in Photoshop Elements 2021. To begin with, I opened the collage template, and this is what the template looks like when it's not populated. And this is what it looks like when it is populated with photos. I'll post links below to point you to videos on how to begin to use the template, but for this video, I wanted to start with a template already populated. And I'm just going to walk you through how I created the page that I showed you at the very beginning. I knew I wanted to add the bride to this page, and so I brought in the photograph, and I already have done that, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn her on. As I was looking at it, what I wanted to do was have her blend into this photo grid template, like she was looking over the day. The first thing I noticed was that the colors here are very bright and um, cool with the gray background, but this is a very warm background. So I needed to change the photo itself, and I decided to change it to black and white. To do that, I clicked on the photo, clicked on the Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon, chose Hue Saturation, and I took that saturation down to 100%. Now you notice that that affected the photo and the grid, and I only want it to affect the photo, so I need to clip the Hue Saturation adjustment to the photo. To do that, I held down Alt, hovered my mouse between the two layers, and left click. And now the hue saturation adjustment layer is clipped to and only affecting the bride's photo. And I like that. I know I'm going to keep that, so I'm going to select uh, the bride's photo as well as the hue saturation layer adjustment by holding down my control key, left clicking my mouse, and then right clicking and merging those layers. I do that only because I know I'm not going to change my mind and it's just easy to work or work with one layer rather than two. Next I decided that I really needed to mute the bright colors in the photo grid to match the tones of the bride's photo. So the easiest way to do that is just to click on the bright, the bright colored photo, add a solid color layer, choose white, click OK, and then reduce the opacity of that color fill layer until you get what you like. And I, I think 25% looks pretty good. But now I'd like to blend the photograph of the bride into the uh, grid template. So to do that, I'll go ahead and add a layer mask by clicking the Add a Mask icon, the fourth icon to the right. I'll grab the gradient tool with your foreground and background colors set to black and white. Check the tool options, and I have the gradient uh, showing black to transparent, which is exactly what I want. Let's go ahead and make sure again that that's active and click a little bit to the right of the bride and bring that left click and bring that mask in just about halfway. Now I would like to get rid of this curve here, but because a gradient gives us a straight line, I'm going to use a soft edge brush to just touch that up again. So let's make sure we have a soft edge brush and we're going to paint with black. I'm going to just kind of paint that away. Let's make that, I'm going to use um, a larger brush just to get rid of a little bit more of that. I think that looks good. She's still looking pretty um, stark against this muted background, so I think I'd like to play with a few blend modes on her, but I know if I use the blend modes, I'm going to um, be interacting with the colorful grid, and I don't want that. I want it to interact with the white. So I need to get rid of a little bit of this grid here. So let's go ahead and add a layer mask, 
and I am going to just go ahead and use this soft edge brush just kind of paint away where I see the bride and you can see what you've done right here let's go ahead now and play with the blend mode of the bride and when I was doing this I found pen light worked best and that looks really pretty I might like to paint a little bit of her back in or maybe uh, if you don't like the uh, photos the grid photo showing through you might paint those away a little bit more so let's go ahead and check the opacity of that brush um, the tool options and I had the opacity at 75 let's go ahead and bring that back up click on the grid photo again and again with black we're gonna paint some of that white back in and that looks better I like that and then to end it I decided just to go ahead and take some creative license and change her bouquet using the a couple of the clusters that were in the February art pack and there you have it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions be sure and leave a comment or shoot me an email I'll be happy to answer it thanks for watching